There's been some work that's come out of the University of Hong Kong. What they've done is essentially make a whole gang of little capacitors. And when the rainwater hits that capacitor, it generates a huge amount, a surprising amount. And they reckon it's about 50 watts per square meter. When you think a solar panel produces 150 watts a square meter, that's pretty awesome. I mean, solar panels will be rated at something like a kilowatt per square meter, but that's the rating. It's not what they produce. They actually produce around about 150 watts. And of course, if you live in a rainy country like England or Oregon or South Island, New Zealand, you get far more rain than you do sunshine. So your solar panels are producing very little. If we could create a rain panel that's producing 50 watts per square meter, we have a real alternative. Now, the way these things are made up is there is a layer of conductor, and what's used is indium tin oxide, and on top of that, a layer of insulator, which is polytetrafluoroethylene. Polytetrafluoroethylene is this stuff. It's plumber's tape. It's the same stuff that you find on your frying pan. This is PTFE tape, and it's used for plumbing both water and gas. So that material is on top of a conductor, and then there's a tiny collector when the rainwater hits it, it forms a capacitor where the rainwater with its charge is one side of the capacitor and the ITO is the other side. When the rainwater opens up and touches the electrode on the PTFE side, a current flows. Now, it's not an embarrassing amount of current, it's a huge amount of current. And in the demonstration, four of these little things can actually light, I think it's up to 200 LEDs, and you can see the LEDs flashing off and on as the water drips over them, which is just astonishing. Now, of course, with something like that, aren't you just tempted to see if you can do a replication? I mean, in my mind, what you would do is get a piece of aluminium, put some PTFE on it, put a little electrode on the PTFE and take it out into the rain. And of course, I'm going to do that. Who wouldn't? But I'm going to do that in a separate video. What I wanted to do here was draw your attention to the fact that this rainwater generation scheme receives a lot of attention and has made a great breakthrough in this idea of using triboelectricity in a series of capacitors so that we can collect real energy. So now we have another viable alternative along that uh, big range of alternative energies that we could pos possibly use. So it's looking a little bit like move over solar, rainwater is on its way. Because we can collect the tribal electricity and the rainwater and maybe use something like quid builds um, hydroelectric version so we get double the amount of energy out.